Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm going to explain the process of Amazon KDP ad placement in a step-by-step -step manner and give you some recommendations for creating the right Amazon advertising strategy. Before we jump to the next part, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to help me keep making videos like this. Thank you. In your bookshelf, select the book you want to advertise and click on the three small dots on the right and then on Promote and Advertise. After you have selected the relevant marketplace, you can create your campaign. Click on Create Campaign and select the Sponsored Product option. Now we need to enter a campaign name, which is purely for you to organize your campaigns and is not visible to buyers. Try to use a name that makes sense and this way you can find the campaign you're searching for just by its name. Next, we have a start and end date that will give you the flexibility to create a future dated campaign and or end your campaign on a specific date. Next one is daily budget. With average daily budget, you can define the maximum amount you're willing to pay per day for this individual campaign. Keep in mind the daily budget is an average value. If your daily budget is not used up in one day, the unused budget will roll over to the following days. Our last part in the setting is targeting. You can decide whether you want your ads to be displayed automatically by Amazon's algorithm or manually by determining your own keywords and ASINs. Whether to go with automatic targeting or manual targeting depends on different factors and the reality is that there are pros and cons for both options. Generally, I suggest choosing automatic targeting if you are new to marketing in general and you're not sure about keywords, bids, and other criteria. Or if you don't have enough time to manually maintain your Amazon advertising campaigns. Automatic targeting enables Amazon to decide when and where to display your product ad, and this is automatically calculated based on the keywords they identify from your product's listing. However, this also means you won't have any control over your bids. On the contrary, if you already have experience in advertising and know your winning keywords, the manual targeting is the better option for you. Just keep in mind, with manual targeting, you need to constantly micromanage and find new keywords to make sure your ads are optimized. It is not as simple as coming up with words that are relevant. There is an extremely time-consuming and data-driven process behind manual targeting. On the next section, we can choose the campaign bidding strategy. As you can see, we have three options. The first two options are dynamic, meaning the platform adjusts your Amazon bid according to the probability of sale. When you select dynamic bids, up and down, Amazon will raise or lower your bid based on the likelihood of the potential click converting to a sale. So for highly relevant keywords, Amazon will increase your bids by up to 100% to place your book at the top of the first page and up to 50% for any other placements down in the first page. And also reduce your bids for impressions that are less likely to convert to a sale. In dynamic bids down only option, Amazon will not increase your bids but will decrease it up to 100% if it predicts your ad may be less likely to convert to a stay for that search. The main benefit of dynamic bid, especially dynamic bids up and down, is that it helps you spend your money where there is an opportunity to make a sale and prevent the spending on keywords that are less likely to convert to a sale. The second and most important benefit is the opportunity to learn. Since the whole process is based on the machine learning and how customers search and buy in Amazon, just a short period of dynamic bidding can show you what an effective bid is for your book and which keywords are considered highly relevant and likely to convert to a sale. 
If you don't like the idea of dynamic bits and want your book to be seen by as many people as possible, you can select the fixed bits option. In this strategy, Amazon will use your exact bid for all opportunities and won't adjust your bid based on likelihood of the conversion. Compared to dynamic bidding, you may get more impressions and your book will be seen more, but the chances are you will also get fewer conversions. Next, we have adjust bids by placement, which is one of the newer features of Amazon advertising. This will give you the freedom to customize your ads based on where they will appear. Top row on the first page of search results. And lastly, product page. This means ads can appear on both product detail page as well as add to cart page. Amazon's adjust bids by placements strategy means that you're able to customize your bidding strategy depending on where they are placed. This will give you control on bidding for specific spots and lets you target areas that you feel are more important. As you can see, you can set up to 900% increase on your bids to get your ad to the top of the search result as well as for product detail page ad placements. Next, you need to choose your ad format. Authors in the US have the option to choose between two ad formats. For advertising campaigns on all other marketplaces besides Amazon.com, only a standard ads can be chosen. If you select custom text ad, you will need to create your own ad copy. With this option, you will only be able to select one book to advertise per campaign. If you select a standard ad, you will create an ad without custom text. Additionally, you have the option of selecting more than one book to advertise within the campaign. Next, we have targeting. If you have chosen manual targeting in campaign settings, you can now choose between keyword and product targeting. With keyword targeting, you can have your ad displayed based on keywords you choose from suggested keywords or the ones you entered here. Whereas product targeting allows you to target your ad to books from your competitors. The ads will then appear either on the product detail page of the targeted product or in the search results if the targeted product is displayed there. No matter if you choose keyboard targeting or product targeting, you can also choose negative targeting, meaning you can prevent your ads from displaying when a customer search matches your negative keywords or negative product selection. This can help you reduce your ad costs. If you chose automatic targeting in campaign setting, Amazon will decide when and where to display your product. So you don't need to select any keyword or product, but you still have the opportunity to exclude keywords and products that you don't want to target. The four types of automatic targeting bid strategies are close match, which will show your book to those who use search terms closely related to your book, loose match, which will show your book to those who use search terms loosely related to your book, next, which will show your book to shoppers who view detailed page of books similar to yours, and lastly, compliments, which will show your book to shoppers who view detailed page of products that complement your book. You can set different values for each of the bid strategies that you like. Amazon makes recommendations for these bids based on similar sellers' bid amounts right here. Now you can submit your advertisement. The ad will be reviewed by Amazon after submission, which usually takes about 72 hours. You will be notified by email when the ad has been approved or otherwise. In most cases, the ad will be approved. However, in cases of spelling and grammar mistakes, false claims or inappropriate pictures, your ad can be rejected, but you will be notified either way. Okay guys, this was a step-by-step -step guide on how to submit your ad campaign in Amazon ads and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe.
see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.